Rive, developed by Two Tribes, arrives on November 17th for Nintendo Switch. Rive has previously been released on the PC and PS4 in late 2016, but what you're getting is the Ultimate Edition on the Nintendo Switch. This is the last game from developer Two Tribes, and arguably their best achievement so far. So being that Rive has already been reviewed and those who know it know that it's great, we're just going to be discussing the Nintendo Switch version and why it's worth picking up now. So Rive is a twin stick shooter, which functions really well in any situation where you're playing the Nintendo Switch. So if that means docked or handheld or using a pro controller or the Joy-Cons in each hand, it, it just functions perfectly. The controls are really, really tight and everything just feels really, really smooth and responsive, which is really important in a twin stick shooter. And one of the highlights of Rive is in fact just how well the game controls. Whether you're rolling on the ground in the tank or floating in zero gravity, it all just feels well put together, and you fall into a rhythm that feels just really good. Getting into a situation where there are a ton of enemies coming at you from all angles, and then you fire a burst of rockets and they all explode at once, is a fantastic thing. Beyond being a twin stick shooter, I also got the sense of it being a Metroidvania type game, although it doesn't function traditionally like a Metroidvania game, environmentally I mean, it, it just has the vibe of being a Metroidvania game. Like, it, it could be, but it's not quite there. The levels are linear, and you do have the ability to go back and replay them, um, but just the, the vibe itself, the way you upgrade, everything felt like very Metroidvania to me. So if that's something you're into, you might find a, a pleasant experience here. There are certain levels that have these really great standout moments, including one that really stuck with me, in which you're outrunning lava from a bunch of different angles, and it, it, it's tough, it's, it's, a, it's a hard level, uh, but it's very f frantic and you feel very locked in and it's really intense and you, you it starts you know, to get your heart pounding, which is good. I mean, that's something games should be doing is making you sit on the edge of your seat and focus really hard. Uh, not too hard, you don't want to be frustrated, but you want to have an experience in which you feel like you're accomplishing something. And the way Rive progresses, the way you upgrade your character, and the situations you get into, you do feel accomplished. It leaves you with a sense of achievement. And with progression, you can unlock upgrades like better weapons for your tank or more hacking abilities. You gain the ability to hack enemy turrets, which then you can use to benefit you along the way. You get like a heal drone that'll follow and heal you. You can get turrets that act as another stream of gunfire. And as you progress, of course, you see stronger enemies. You see these really big, interesting boss fights that have really cool dynamics. And then it ends, because this is a short game, so that it should be said, this is not a long game, there's 12 levels, but they do have a lot of replayability, and going back and playing levels, unlocking different modes, like a speedrun mode, a score attack mode, things like that. So yes, Rive has been out for a while now, and people know of its greatness, and this is for those Nintendo Switch owners that might not know about it, and want to invest in a great experience. We can't recommend this game enough, and we really want to thank the devs for sending us a code to review, talk about this game. It's definitely worth sharing. So if you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe for more content, of course, and leave a comment below on what you think of Rive, and let us know if there's some other games that you want us to talk about. Thanks, guys.